all right so this is fg this is fg all right okay so the another force acting on it and that is the normal force another force acting on this this is the normal force now i'm going to put the normal force so let's see how i can put the normal force maybe i have to put this one on the top maybe i have to put this one on the top because this is not that heavy so this is we're going to call this one normal force this is the idea people this is the idea you know you change the idea because when you when you think you have better idea you always you always use the better idea so this is we're going to call normal force what is normal force the force coming from the table why the force coming from the table because table want to be at rest table want to be at rest so table realize that someone placing an apple on the table so table applying the force the table applying the force which is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the to the to the to the gravitational force that acting downward now this force has to be equal in magnitude is this equal in magnitude no this is not equal in magnitude so i have to so i have to um, i have to cut because this has to be equal in magnitude this is the the normal force and this is the gravitational force i have to do that i have to cut uh, to make sure that the force is equal in magnitude if i cannot cut it like that i have the other tools to do that but let's first try let's first try okay okay i'm making progress i did it i did it so this one this is the gravitational force acting on this apple and this is uh and this is the normal force and this is the normal force acting on this apple so there are how many forces there are two forces acting on this apple one is normal force and one is gravitational force Let's start dynamics. In dynamics, we always start dynamics with Sir Isaac Newton. I'm going to take you to 1642. What happened in 1642? December 25, Christmas Day. Sir Isaac Newton was born. 24 years later, Sir Isaac Newton was a student of Cambridge University. He was studying mathematics. What happened in 1666? It was like the year 2020 or 2021. It was a pandemic year 2020 we were suffering from coronavirus 1666 people in London were suffering from from the great plague of London all the schools universities shut down sir isaac newton went home he was studying mathematics one day he was sitting saw an apple fall it was it was it was a late evening like this so he looked at the sky and he saw a moon and he asked a key question if apple fall does the moon also fall this simple question if apple fall does the moon also fall turn out to be biggest question any human ever asked so the discovery the invention the new idea comes from asking question this simple question if apple fall does the moon also fall turn out to be the greatest question any human being ever asked so he wanted to solve this falling apple falling moon problem but the mathematics of his time was not advanced enough to allow him to solve this problem what did he do He created a new branch of mathematics. He called calculus. He used the calculus to lay the foundation of physics, and he also used the calculus to write three laws of motion. And today we're going to go over the first law of motion, and that is called Newton's first law. Object at rest likes to. stay at rest object in motion in motion likes to stay in motion upon external force So as you see Newton first law has three part part 1 this is called part 1 part 1 we call law of inertia So one property of law of inertia is the mass if mass increases the inertia increases if mass decreases inertia decreases the second part the second part of Newton first law is called momentum
P for momentum, M for mass, and V for velocity. If velocity increases or mass increases, then the momentum increases. The momentum depends on mass and velocity. On the other, uh, at the, on the other hand, the inertia depends on only mass. Inertia depends on only mass. Okay, and the third part, the third part, the third part is unless acted upon by external force. So what happened? Object at rest likes to stay at rest forever, that's inertia. Object in motion likes to stay in motion forever, that is called momentum, unless acted upon by an external force. Apple, zero. What is the acceleration of this apple? Zero. How many forces acting on this apple? You probably think there is no velocity. The apple is at rest. Acceleration is zero, so there might be no forces acting on this apple. I'll show you the two forces acting on this apple by this force vector. So I have two vector. This is the ups. This is too big. I'm going to cut it. All right. So this is F G. This is F G. All right. Okay, so the another force acting on it, and that is the normal force. Another force acting on this, this is the normal force. Now I'm going to put the normal force. So let's see how I can put the normal force. Maybe I have to put this one on the top. Maybe I have to put this one on the top because this is not that heavy. So this is, we're going to call this one normal force. This is the idea, people. This is the idea. You know, you change the idea because when you, when you think you have better idea, you always you always use the better idea so this is we're going to call normal force what is normal force the force coming from the table why the force coming from the table because table want to be at rest table want to be at rest so table realize that someone placing an apple on the table so table applying the force the table applying the force which is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the to the to the to the gravitational force that acting downward now this force has to be equal in magnitude is this equal in magnitude no this is not equal in magnitude so i have to so i have to um, i have to cut because this has to be equal in magnitude this is the the normal force and this is the gravitational force i have to do that i have to cut uh, to make sure that the force is equal in magnitude if i cannot cut it like that i have the other tools to do that but let's first try let's first try okay okay i'm making progress i did it i did it so this one this is the gravitational force acting on this apple and this is uh and this is the normal force and this is the normal force acting on this apple so there are how many forces there are two forces acting on this apple one is normal force and one is gravitational force normal force coming from this table and the gravitational force is always downward normal force is equal in magnitude opposite in direction so now i'm going to take you to the board to draw to show you why the net force is zero can be written as Can be written like that so this is the sum, uh, sum of all forces this is sigma that means sum of all forces all right so now f fx and fy sigma fx and sigma fy so how many forces acting at the x direction if you see how many forces acting at the x direction there is no forces acting at the x direction so i'm going to go back over there and i'm going to write zero how many forces acting at the y direction? Now I'm going to look at the y direction and I see these forces acting at the y direction. So I'm going to write this one. I also see, oh, this one. I'm going to write this one. This one is Fn. And Fn is always positive. And I see this one. And I see this one. And this one is acceleration this one is the gravitational force so now i'm going to write the gravitational force now at the y direction the object is not moving the apple is not moving at the y direction is equal to fn minus fg so then fg is equal to fn 